Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at all eight of the new ninja minifigures for Ninjago Dragons Rising, as seen in the recent wave of Ninjago Dragons Rising Season 1 sets. From left to right, we have Kai, Jay, Cole, Zane, Lloyd, Nia, Aaron and Sora, the eight characters that make up our Ninjago Dragons Rising Season 1 cast. Now really quick, we are not going to be discussing characters like Wildfire or even Baby Ryu, just because they aren't technically ninja just yet, even though they are affiliated with the ninja team. These minifigures right here are our core eight ninja for Ninjago Dragons Rising, so I figured we would start there. The Wildfire and Ryu figures we will look at once I review the sets that they come in. And later on in the video, I do want to compare these ninja masks that we see here with some older renditions of the ninja hoods just to see how they compare and if they are compatible with some older models so stay tuned for all of that but first let's take a look at each of these guys individually starting with Kai there on the far left so here we have Kai in his full-on Ninjago Dragons Rising suit and I will be talking about these minifigures a little bit more once I review the sets that they come in but for right now let's just take a general look at these characters in their new 2023 summertime counterparts now with Kai here I think he looks pretty good Lovely coloring going on here, lovely shade of red. Same red that Kai usually uses along with dark red. His symbol is shown off really prominently down there with the gold. And what I really enjoy about these minifigures are the new faces that they use. And this is the same for all of the other Dragons Rising Ninja as well. They all use a brand new face that is obviously very different than what we've seen before. The back of the face also has this weird mask thing, which I'm still not exactly sure what that is for, but you can also see the back of the printing here. Very, very nice. I love that dragon symbol right there along with the dark red fire effects I think that looks really good and I also really enjoy that new Kai face very very good face for Kai kind of like a sadistic little smirk type of thing I like how that looks a lot actually here we have the alternate face fully displayed in the ninja hood and really quick let's bring in the Ninjago core version of Kai which also does appear in Ninjago Dragons Rising just so you guys can compare the old versus the new overall I think the Dragons Rising version of Kai is a pretty great figure not my favorite Kai, but still a very good Kai nonetheless. Next up, we have Jay in his full Ninjago Dragons Rising uniform, and I really enjoy the colors used here as well. Blue is my favorite color, so it's awesome to see different shades of blue being used here, along with that traditional banana yellow that Ninjago Core gave us. Overall, this version of Jay is pretty cool. Dark blue gloves as well, uh, matching that dark blue color on his torso print. And overall, I really enjoy this figure. Might be my favorite Dragons Rising figure, if I'm being wholeheartedly honest honest here. Like the other ninja, Jay does have a brand new face for the summertime of 2023, and here's what the alternate uh, mask face thing looks like. You can also see the back printing here. The back printing is more or less the same throughout all of these characters, just with updated elemental powers displayed on their backs. Here's what Jay looks like with that alternate face shining through, and just bringing in the Ninjago core version of Jay, I really like how the Dragon's Rising Jay copies a lot of the colors, especially with the banana yellow for the belt. I feel like maybe the figure could have used a little bit more, but I feel like that's just because core Jay is full of that color. Overall, I think these guys look great together. Next up, we have Cole. Very, very awesome color scheme for Cole as well. Kind of like what we expected though, the blacks, the oranges, the gray, all of that is there of course, and Cole here is a really cool figure. I like Cole's a lot. Cole is my favorite ninja overall. Not sure if he has the best Dragon's Rising minifigure though. I think that might still go to Jay, but overall very solid printing very solid coloring on this guy. I like him a lot. What can I say? Dragons Rising also gave Cole an awesome new facial expression. Love how that looks overall. I'm not a huge fan though of the back of the head with that alternate mask thing. Not a huge fan of how that looks. I can't imagine why they would want to go for red for those rocks on the mask instead of like an orangish color. Just kind of throws it off when you compare it to the rest of the figure. Awesome back printing though. And yeah, that alternate face shining through the ninja mask, that doesn't look very good to me. I'm not sure why they went with red rocks instead of orange rocks, but regardless, let's bring in the Ninjago Core version of Cole, just so you can see how these two guys compare. I think these two look great together as well. Again, that red though on the Cole, the Dragon's Rising Cole, 
I don't like that at all, if I'm being honest. Here we have Dragons Rising Zane. Very awesome ice theme on this guy. This guy just screams ice elemental. And I think this version of Zane is actually really well done. Nice white color, nice light blue color as well. Maybe a little bit too much light blue for some people, but I think it's perfectly fine as a secondary color for Zane. He also has some gray on him as well. Uh, again, just showing off that ice color scheme. I think this guy looks pretty good overall. Can't complain too much about this version of Zane. I also really enjoy his new face. It's definitely not as happy as I would have preferred. It's also very similar to his older face print, uh, but all in all, it's a new face print for Zane, so take that as you will. We also have the alternate, more masked up expression, which is a little bit more angry. Kind of wish maybe those facial expressions were swapped. Maybe the angry face could have been the normal face, but I digress. It's totally fine at the end of the day. You can also see his back printing a little bit better there as well. I really enjoy how the alternate face looks with the full on mask, and of course, bringing in core Zane right here here, you can see a lot of those similar color schemes with the whites, the blues, not as much pale yellow on Dragon's Rising Zane as there is on Core Zane. In fact, I don't think Dragon's Rising Zane has any of that color. He just has gold instead, but still these two look fantastic together. Next up here, we have Dragon's Rising Lloyd. Now this guy looks pretty good as well. Love the detailing on this guy overall. I think he looks pretty great. I'm not a huge fan of the green that they used for this Lloyd though. It is in fact a different green than what we are used to, and we will compare this with the Ninjago Core Lloyd here in a second. But overall, I like the design of this figure. I'm just not a huge fan of the shade of green that they chose here for Lloyd this time around. But overall, the figure itself, in terms of the printing, it doesn't look all that bad. Like the other ninja, Lloyd also has a new face print this go around, and he also does have that alternate face with his random mask. Again, not too sure what that means just yet. Maybe Dragons Rising will explain that at some point in the series. I really enjoy this look for Lloyd with the mask shining through the hood. Might be my favorite out of all of the ninja that we've seen so far in terms of the alternate face being used. Also, really quick, let's bring in the core Lloyd just so you can see the difference in color. Now, it might not show up all that great on camera, but Dragon's Rising Lloyd is a lot brighter of a shade of green as opposed to the darker, more dull green that we're used to on Lloyd minifigures. Core Lloyd here, uh, especially in the hood, you can see that's the color green that we are used to. Dragon's Rising Lloyd is a slightly lighter shade of green, which I'm not so super opposed to, but it does look pretty awkward next to all of the other Lloyd Garment on minifigures. Next up here we have Nia. She is back to being the Azure Blue Ninja, and I think her color scheme is pretty interesting this time around. She does still have some gray on her color scheme as well, but now she's back to being her traditional blue color, and she does have some red in her color scheme as well too, with the maroon color belt. Again, kind of encapsulating all of her different colors that she's had over the years, but honestly, I kind of preferred the gray. This Azure Blue isn't my favorite color for Nia, but it's whatever at the end of the day. Doesn't really bother me that much. I really enjoy the new face that Nia uses this time around, and also she does have the mask like all of the other ninja do as well. I like how her mask looks. Nice water effects going on in there. Doesn't look too shabby overall, and also you can see her back printing a little bit more clearly as well. Overall, pretty solid minifigure, even if I'm not that big of a fan of the color scheme. But really quick, let's bring in core Nia, just so you can see how these two compare. Again, majority gray versus majority as uh, definitely a contrast, but overall, I think that these two figures still look great together, but I do prefer the color scheme on Core Nia as opposed to Dragon's Rising Nia. Next up here, we have Eren, the yellowish orangish ninja or whatever. He is a new ninja for Ninjaga Dragon's Rising, and I really like this minifigure. Uh, great color scheme, also a different hood piece compared to the rest of the crew. He has horns on his hood for whatever reason, kind of looks like Daredevil. Everybody's already made that comparison though. Uh, overall, this character, this minifigure I don't mind. I think he's an excellent figure overall. I think he looks extremely interesting. He's also the same color as Skylar, which, you know, you can kind of, you can kind of say maybe Skylar deserved to be the new yellow ninja, but just bringing in Skylar really quick, that is the exact same yellow. Unless my eyesight isn't really the best, which it isn't, let's be real, but to me these are the exact same color. Uh, obviously Aaron though does have some orange on his color scheme, not all yellow and also he does have that golden crest but still that yellow that yellowish orangish color I believe that is the exact same color and also here we have Aaron's face he does not have an alternate face unfortunately but that actual face print the regular face print there that is pretty good looks very similar to how he looks in the Ninjago TV series and finally here we have Sora another new ninja and a new elemental master she is the master of technology or 
tech, whatever you want to call it, and really awesome figure here too. I'm not a huge fan of the color scheme though, we'll talk about that more here in a second, but I do really enjoy how her Imperium arm is actually printed. That is a printed arm there, I really enjoy that a lot actually. They could have just left it solid gold, but I'm glad they didn't. Uh, just kind of shows the attention of detail that went into this minifigure's design. In terms of the design though, yeah, the printing is rather intricate, but I'm not a huge fan of the color scheme. I wish Sora could pick just a solid color, instead she's kind of like pink, dark, dark blue, white, and also a little bit of gold. I wish she could just pick a solid color. She also uses the same hood piece as the rest of the ninja, but like Eren, she has an alternate top piece featuring a little bit of her hair and some cat ears. So do with that what you will, I guess. Overall, very solid figure. Uh, let's take a look at that face underneath. Underneath all of that though, here we have her face print. Very angry expression, but she does have an alternate expression as well. This one is a little bit more calm, and in this face, I assume she is activating her elemental powers uh, since her eyes are glowing pink there. So yeah, you can also see a little bit more of her back printing as well. I love that cat symbol. Here we have the alternate face once Sora is all suited up again, and like I said, that's not a bad look. I just wish she could pick a solid color. Just my opinion though. Now really quick before we wrap up, I do want to spend some time talking about the new mask piece in general. We're just going to use J here as an example, as a proxy. Uh, the mask is a two-piece mask, one bottom piece with armor, one top piece for the helmet itself. The armor piece does have a ZX style sword holster, which can indeed store katanas if you want. You can fit two katanas in there, uh, back to back, or uh, you know, whatever you would call this maneuver right here, if I can get it in there. There we go. So you can have that look going if you want. I don't think that's a bad look at all. Like I said though, that mask and the armor kind of work together to make a two-piece style ninja hood, which is very similar to that of the Sons of Garmadon hunted slash Ninjaga movie hoods, which had a similar function. Of course, we still had armor separate from the main mask. This mask over here kind of combines the mask with the armor, but still two pieces overall. And if you're wondering whether or not the masks are compatible, well, well, yes and no. You can fit the top of a season 8 or Ninjago movie hood. You can fit that on the Dragon's Rising minifigures, though that look really isn't the most complete thing out there. Uh, you can also fit the top of the Dragon's Rising hood on a season 8 minifigure, but it doesn't plug in all the way. It just kind of sits on top of the head like that. Looks kind of ridiculous if I'm being honest, so yeah, definitely not a lot of compatibility right there. It is possible to fit a Dragon's Rising hood though on top of a season 3, season 4 Ninjago Legacy style half mask. In fact, pulling that off there, uh, putting this back on, you can see we can get that look going, which isn't really a bad look in my opinion, but it does kind of look like his head is just kind of crammed in there. Look Looks like it's a little bit too tight of a fit for him, but it does fit all the way around. It does fit. These masks are compatible, but the look itself isn't really the best in my opinion, but you can do that if you want. And really quick, I do want to test some hair pieces. So let's start with Kai here. I have not done these tests just yet, so I guess we will be trying these together. Uh, Kai's hair piece does fit. Look at that. You can fit Kai's full hair piece on there if you want. Uh, does the hair piece with the headband fit though. Let's see. Yeah. All right, cool. Both of Kai's hair pieces fit. That's not a bad look at all. So there's something else that you can do if you so desire. We should have no problem with Jay's hair. His hair isn't that uh, big of a piece. Uh, yep. That one fits perfect. And the one with the headband also fits. So that's cool. Let's try Cole's really quick. Uh, first of all, the normal hair piece for Cole. It's kind of a tight fit. In fact, I'm not even sure that's on there fully. It seems kind of loose, but that does fit to an extent. It is a pretty tight fit though. Not sure if you would class that as legal or not, uh, but really quick, let's try with the headband. I've already done this test and I know that that works. <laughs> Did that test over on my Instagram. That is not a bad look, especially with this specific uh, headband piece, the orange one from the island. Not a bad look at all. I know for a fact Zane's hair is not gonna be a problem. <laughs> yep, surprise, surprise. That one works out just fine. Let's try Lloyd's hair, just going in with the normal hair piece. Yeah, that also barely fits, but I guess it still does fit technically. It is a pretty tight fit like Cole's hair, but it does still work, I suppose. And really quick with the headband piece, that's a little bit better of a fit. I'm really, I'm, I'm really a lot more comfortable with that actually. That actually feels like it fits on there. The normal hair piece, not so much, but this headband piece, yep, that does fit. Just remember 
remember those two greens are now different colors. I'm kind of nervous about Nia's, but let's see. Let's start with the normal hair piece. Um, nope, that doesn't seem to fit all the way. You can kind of rest it on top like that, but it's a little bit too long to fit snugly on that armor piece. It's a little bit too long for that. As you can see, it doesn't plug in all the way. So that is probably our first official failure. That does not fit on there rather snugly. Uh, what about the hair piece with the headband? There you go. That one actually does fit. So if you want Nia to have her hair, you could use the original hair piece, but this one with the headband is a lot more of a tighter connection. That feels a lot more comfortable than this one, which literally just kind of sits on top, does, doesn't, uh, you know, it doesn't plug in all the way, unfortunately. Now, unfortunately for Aaron and Sora, I do not have their proper hair pieces just yet, but for Sora, I do have a similar hair piece. It's the exact same piece, just not the right color. I have May's hair from Monkey Kid. This is the piece that she does use in the Ninjago City Market set. And like Nia, that one does not fit over the mask, unfortunately. It just kind of hovers on top like that. And for Aaron, I do not have the proper hair piece just yet, nor do I even have the mold. But if you really want to, you can always give him the Zane. If you know, you know. In terms of how I'd rank the Dragon's Rising Ninja, I'd say Jay's is probably my favorite just because of the blue color. I also really enjoy Aaron. He's probably second place. I love his Daredevil horns. After that, we have Cole. I like Cole's a lot. Should be pretty self-explanatory. Uh, following that, I'd say maybe uh, Zane's. Yeah, let's go with that. I like the icy color. Following that, I'd say maybe Kai. And starting with Lloyd, I start to have some problems. Again, not a huge fan of that shade of green that they use for Lloyd. After Lloyd, I'd say Nia. And probably in last place, Sora. Oop, just bumped my camera there. Again, maybe Sora just because of the colors. So that's how I would rank each of these guys from best all the way down to worst. So with that being said, guys, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here. Thank you so very much for watching today's video. Feel free to leave a comment down below discussing what you think of these new Dragons Rising Ninja minifigures and which one is your favorite. Or if you want to rank them all down below, feel free to do so. If you guys enjoyed today's video, feel free to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again very, very soon. Peace.